Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I am solving one competency based question from class 10 CBSC so that they, it can help them in the board examination preparation. So uh, it is about the arithmetic progression. Let's read the question very carefully. On Kip and his friends were making a sleep over and wanted to do something for fun. One of the friends suggested that they could make a house of cards. Question one is Ankit and his friends want to use three cards in the top layer and 18 in the bottom layer. Form an AP showing the number of cards in each layer starting from the top of the layer. This is part one. It carries one mark. Second is Ankit is planning to make a pyramid with the top and bottom layer containing 15 and 138 cards respectively. How many layers will such a pyramid have? Show your work. And last part is they have total 360 cards with them. Find the maximum number of layers that Ankit and his friends can make using the cards they have. If they want to have one triangle three cards at the top layer, show your work. So first part of the question is Ankit and his friends Want to use three cards in the top layer and 18 in the bottom layer. Form an AP showing the number of cards in each layer starting from the top layer. So you will observe this pattern or you will apply the common sense while you will make the pyramid of cards. First layer has your three cards. In the second, again another such figure is there so it will be 3 plus 3 that will be 6 is needed and for third it will be 9 is needed that means here the first term is your 3 and the common difference d is equal to your again 3 so what is the ap ap is equal to 3 6 9 12 15 then your 18 you are getting one mark. Let us see the second question. Next question, it carries two marks. Ankit is planning to make a pyramid with top and bottom layer containing 15 and 132, eight cards respectively. That means on first line, there are 15 cards. And the last line, that is your 138 cards respectively. How many layers? Will it will such a pyramid have? Show your work. That means first line has the 15 cards. Then, as we have seen, we'll go on increasing 3, 3, 3, 3. And at which layer there will be 138 cards? That means first term is equal to 15. Common difference is 3. And nth term is 138. We have to find n. This is the number of layers. So we will apply the formula for nth term. That will be first term plus n minus 1 whole multiplies common difference. A is 15. n is equal to we don't know. So let it be n. D is equal to 3. That will be 138. We have to simplify this equation. It's not that difficult. So 15 plus 3 times of n minus 3 is equal to 138 or 3 times of n plus 12 is equal to 138. Then 3 times of n is equal to 138 minus 12 that will be your 1 to 6. So what is n? n is equal to 126 over 3 if it cancel it will be 42 so 
how many layers so there will be there will be 42 layers now coming to now coming to last part which also carries two marks they have a total of 360 cards with them find the maximum number of layers that ankit and his friends can make using the cards they have if they want to have one triangle or three cards at the top layers show that show your work so at the top there are three cards then they are adding three to each layer like this they have total is equal to 360 that means if i'll take the first term as three why if i have to take and the common difference is three here and number of layers is n Then the total cards means this is your SN. SN is given to 360. So we have to recall the formula for SN. N by 2 twice A plus N minus 1 into D. So this is given to 360. You have to solve for N. So let us put in the formula n is not given so n by 2 2 into a that will be 3 plus n minus 1 into d is equal to again 3 is equal to 360 or n by 2 6 plus 3n minus 3 is equal to 360 or n by 2 it will be your 3 plus 3n is equal to 360 in the next line this 2 i will multiply with 360 so it will become n 3 plus 3n is equal to your 720 so next i will multiply it will be 3n square plus 3n This one is equal to 720 or I can write 3n square plus 3n minus 720 is equal to 0. Ultimately, if I divide with 3, it will make a smaller one n square plus n minus 240 is equal to 0. Dividing throughout with 3. So now we have to split the middle term. I'll think of two numbers whose product is 240 and if I take the subtraction it will be 1. So this will be your 15 and 16. If you cannot remember then you cannot think immediately then you can go for the formula. So it will be n square plus 16n minus 15n minus 240 is 0 or taking n common n plus 16 minus 15 common n plus 16 is 0 or this is n plus 16 into n minus 15 is 0 this gives me two values one is n is equal to minus 16 and n is equal to 15 can it be answered which one will be answered or both will be answered this cannot be answered because number of number of layers cannot be negative since it is negative it is rejected it is, it is as negative so n is equal to 15 so number of layers is 15 Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing.